Your option to buy an affordable Chinese-made electric vehicle is tonight under threat. This is probably by far the more important BYD model we're going to see today. It's not actually new, it's been out for a little while in the Chinese market. This is the BYD Seagull, and this is a car creating absolute ruptions. Craig, when you look at, I mean, BYD, this is incredible. Like, without recharging, without refueling 2,000 kilometers, is this, a, is this, first of all, really doable, and is this groundbreaking? Imagine an engine so powerful and affordable that it could turn the entire EV industry upside down. This isn't a futuristic concept. It's here, and it's coming from China. As Western automakers scramble to keep up, China's game-changing technology is shaking up markets worldwide. Could one new engine truly challenge the world's biggest car brands? Let's uncover how this engine could change the EV landscape. China's journey to EV dominance China isn't just competing in the EV market, it's aiming to dominate it. Starting in the early 2000s, with cities choked by pollution and rising energy concerns, China set its sights on electric vehicles as a solution. Through bold policies and relentless innovation, China's rise in EV technology has sent shockwaves worldwide. Programs like the 863 program, and the new energy vehicle plan launched in the 2000s encouraged EV adoption, offering subsidies to both consumers and manufacturers. By 2017, Shenzhen electrified its entire bus fleet, showcasing the power of electrification in public transport. With the introduction of the dual credit system, China mandated automakers to meet EV quotas, propelling domestic brands like BYD, NIO, and Xpeng to global prominence. By 2023, nearly 40% of all vehicles sold in China were electric, and the country's extensive charging infrastructure made EVs a viable option for millions. The BYD Seagull, a game-changer for affordable EVs the BYD Seagull is revolutionizing the EV market. Powered by an innovative electric motor and BYD's lithium-ion phosphate LFP, battery technology, the Seagull offers exceptional range around 200 miles on a single charge, at an incredibly affordable price. Unlike traditional lithium-ion batteries, BYD's LFP battery is cheaper, safer, and more durable. The Seagull's compact design and practical features, like a single windshield wiper to cut costs and reduce maintenance, make it perfect for urban environments. Despite its small size, it offers a surprisingly roomy interior. The fast charging capability of the Seagull, combined with its affordability, is making waves in global markets, especially in Europe and Latin America, where it challenges traditional high-end EVs. By its approach to manufacturing, vertical integration from battery production to final assembly keeps costs low and quality high. The Seagull is more than just a car. It's a statement that electric vehicles can be both affordable and high performance, challenging global automakers to reassess their strategies and adapt to the evolving EV landscape. Technological innovations and autonomous driving Chinese EVs are not only about affordability but are also at the forefront of technological innovation. Companies like NIO are leading the charge in autonomous driving, turning their vehicles into robots on wheels. With advanced systems such as self-parking, highway navigation, and voice commands, NEO is revolutionizing the driving experience, making it more intuitive, convenient, and safer for users. Meanwhile, Xpeng's hybrid models, like the Kempeng Super Electric System, offer a range of nearly 900 miles on a single charge, making long-distance electric travel feasible even in areas with limited charging infrastructure. These innovations, combined with premium interiors and advanced infotainment systems, ensure that Chinese EVs aren't just affordable, they're high-tech, comfortable, and ready for the future of transportation. Chinese EV brands outpacing Western leaders Chinese EV brands are rapidly closing the gap with traditional Western automakers like Tesla and Volkswagen. Companies like NIO and Xpeng offer features comparable to, or even better than, Western models at a fraction of the price. NIO's autonomous driving technology is on par with Tesla's autopilot, 
while Xpeng's extended range system rivals those of high-end Western models. The real game-changer, however, is the affordability of these features, allowing consumers to access premium EV technology without the luxury price tag. Environmental costs of EV battery production Despite the environmental benefits of electric vehicles (EVs), the production of their batteries carries a significant ecological toll. The extraction of key minerals like lithium, cobalt, and nickel, needed for EV batteries, requires intensive mining operations that harm local ecosystems and communities. Lithium extraction, for example, depletes water resources, particularly in regions like South America and China, leading to water shortages that affect farming and wildlife. Cobalt mining in the Democratic Republic of Congo DRC, is also associated with deforestation, soil erosion, and water contamination, not to mention the ethical issues surrounding exploitative labor practices, including child labor. To address these environmental and ethical challenges, the EV industry, particularly in China, is focusing on battery recycling. Leading companies like CATL and BYD are building facilities to reclaim valuable minerals from used batteries, creating a more sustainable closed-loop system. Furthermore, Chinese companies are exploring second-life applications for EV batteries, using them for energy storage in power grids or homes once they can no longer power a car. Pressure on traditional automakers The rapid rise of Chinese EVs is putting pressure on traditional automakers like Toyota, BMW, and even Tesla, which is feeling the impact of competition from Chinese brands in the global market. As Chinese automakers offer affordable EVs with advanced features, consumers in Europe and emerging markets like Latin America are increasingly choosing them over Western alternatives. This shift is forcing established brands to rethink their strategies, especially as they face mounting competition and rising production costs. The introduction of more affordable Chinese models could potentially reshape the competitive landscape of the global auto industry. Solid-state batteries, China's next big leap in EV technology, the future of EVs lies in their batteries, and China is at the forefront of this technological revolution. Chinese companies dominate the global lithium-ion battery market, with CATL, BYD, and CALB leading the charge. Recently, China has also made significant strides in developing solid-state batteries, which promise to be safer, more efficient, and longer-lasting than traditional lithium-ion batteries. These batteries will not only reduce charging times but also extend the range and lifespan of EVs. China is also pushing forward with innovations in battery recycling and second-life applications, further solidifying its position as a global leader in battery technology. By controlling the global supply chain for raw materials, China has a strategic advantage over its competitors, enabling it to keep EV costs low and production stable. However, as the world's demand for EVs and batteries grows, China's dominance also faces challenges, particularly concerning the environmental and ethical issues related to mining and labor practices in countries like the DRC. In response to these concerns, Chinese companies are investing in sustainable practices, researching alternative battery chemistries, and improving supply chain transparency. This focus on innovation and sustainability has positioned China as not only an EV manufacturing leader, but also a key player in the global energy revolution. By driving advancements in electric vehicles and renewable energy, China is helping shape the future of both industries and influencing global energy systems. Thank you for watching another episode of Alizeb. While you are still here, don't forget to like and subscribe.